Hey everyone, Adam Simmons here from DGTL Infra, short for Digital Infrastructure. Northern Virginia is the largest data center market in the world, with over 1.2 gigawatts or 1200 megawatts of total data center capacity that has been leased. Within the Northern Virginia market, more than 65% of the data center supply resides in the city of Ashburn, Virginia, which is known as Data Center Alley and is located less than 30 miles outside of Washington, D.C. But what makes Ashburn the top data center market? Well, Ashburn has cheap energy prices, attractive municipal tax incentives, robust and diverse fiber connectivity, high quality peering points, low earthquake risks, and a relatively cool climate. These factors have led to the rapid growth of Ashburn's data center capacity, and in particular, the growth in Ashburn has been driven by key customers, including cloud service providers like Amazon Web Services, or AWS, Microsoft, and Google, and internet companies including Facebook, ByteDance, which is the owner of TikTok, and Uber. With that, let's jump into some key facilities from the main data center operators in Ashburn and nearby Sterling, Virginia. These companies include well-known providers like Amazon Web Services, or AWS, and data center companies like Equinix and Digital Realty. Number one is Amazon Web Services, who is the dominant cloud service provider globally with approximately 30% market share. Each of the three AWS data centers seen here are 140,000 square feet to 150,000 square feet in size. These buildings are what are known as powered shells, where the tenant, rather than the landlord, builds out the data center infrastructure. In this case, Amazon Web Services is the tenant and the building's owner is a company named Corporate Office Properties Trust, or COPT for short. Notably, in June 2019, COPT formed a joint venture with one of the world's largest private equity firms called Blackstone and sold 90% of the ownership in these buildings to Blackstone. Continuing on now with AWS, in nearby Sterling, Virginia, COPT owns another two buildings, which comprise over 200,000 square feet and are again leased to Amazon Web Services. Overall, in Northern Virginia, COPT leases a total of 4.8 million square feet of data center space to Amazon Web Services. Now, take a look at the equipment that you see behind each of these data centers. Each building has 18 diesel backup generators made by industrial company Caterpillar, which supply the building with redundant power. Most of these generators ensure that the data center's IT workloads remain online in the event of a power failure, while some of the generators are dedicated to keeping components of the cooling system online as well. Next up is Equinix, which is the largest multi-tenant data center provider in the world, with approximately 20% market share. In Ashburn, Equinix hosts 11 of its 13 densely interconnected Northern Virginia data centers. Here we can see the entrance to Equinix's main facility at its Ashburn campus, known as its DC2 data center, which comprises 118,000 square feet and connects to a number of adjacent buildings. While data center providers like Equinix go to great lengths to make sure their buildings look nondescript, we can actually see the Equinix logo inside the building when we zoom in. Moving now to Digital Realty, who is by far the largest data center provider in the Ashburn market. In the overall Northern Virginia market, Digital Realty has 31 data centers, which comprise over 7 million rentable square feet and 540 megawatts of power capacity. Each of Digital Realty's buildings seen here range from 110,000 to 180,000 square feet in size and offer utility power capacity of 10 megawatts to 16 megawatts each. From this point of view, we can also see the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, also known as HVAC equipment, which resides on the top of these data centers. Back at ground level, we can see how each building has a single main entry point protected by card key access and a 24-7, 365 guard station. 
Digital Realty's Ashburn campus is powered by Dominion Energy, the main electric utility company providing power to data centers in Northern Virginia. While Digital Realty's building again appears nondescript, we can see by zooming in that Digital Realty has its logo on the inside wall of the building. Overall, Digital Realty's Ashburn campus is powered by 80 megawatts from the Greenway substation and receives further power from the Enterprise substation, which are both located on Digital Realty's property. Power is distributed from these substations to each data center through dedicated underground concrete encased duct banks. The final Digital Realty building we wanted to show you is important given that it is an example of the incredible scale at which data centers are now being built. Digital Realty's Building L at Round Table Plaza comprises over 1 million square feet and offers 120 megawatts of power capacity, which makes it optimal for secure, large-scale deployments. As you can see, the building is surrounded by a 10-foot metal fence. Overall, at this site, Digital Realty has nearly 3 million square feet of land for potential growth and expansion. To this end, directly behind the structure is Digital Realty's Building M, which offers another 223,000 square feet and 102 megawatts of power capacity. Now let's head back to neighboring Sterling, Virginia to check out another provider called Cyrus One, the third largest publicly traded US data center operator. This data center campus is 420,000 square feet and has 48 megawatts of total power capacity. Notably, Microsoft, a customer, signed a 24 megawatt lease with Cyrus One at one of its Sterling, Virginia facilities in 2020. Next up is a company called CloudHQ, which is one of the largest private data center operators in the United States, having built 3.5 million square feet of data center space with over 350 megawatts of critical load in four markets of the United States. We are highlighting CloudHQ because many of the largest data center leasing transactions in the United States during 2020 were won by CloudHQ. Indeed, CloudHQ leased 192 megawatts of capacity in just three deals in Northern Virginia during 2020, including two of which were in Ashburn. Specifically, CloudHQ leased 72 megawatts to Facebook and 60 megawatts to Google in Ashburn. Moving now just behind the previous CloudHQ facility, we can also see that CloudHQ is busy building hundreds of megawatts of additional data center capacity using construction company Holder to develop this site, which is located on Loudoun County Parkway. The final company we highlight is called CoLogix, who is an interconnection-focused data center operator backed by private equity firm Stone Peak Infrastructure. Cologix Ashburn site is next to Equinix's DC2 data center, which we showed earlier in the video. And that data center is the key interconnection hub for the Ashburn market. This Cologix site was actually formerly occupied by the Christian Fellowship Church, which was unwilling to move for many years prior to Cologix's purchase. At this location, CoLogix is now building 120 megawatts of power capacity across 1 million square feet of data center co-location space. This building will be a two-story facility and will include 16 data halls upon completion. Importantly, what you do not see at ground level is the high capacity dark fiber and conduit that runs underground throughout data center alley in Ashburn. However, what we do see are these posts sticking out of the ground and fiber optic manholes, which indicate that buried fiber optic cable is crisscrossing the ground below. Dark fiber is crucial to ensuring rapid, low latency connectivity between existing data centers and the needs of enterprise, carrier, and hyperscale organizations like Amazon Web Services. In particular, dark fiber facilitates private and secure connections. Here in Ashburn, we actually see a number of examples of these fiber providers signified by either flags planted in the ground or their names on manhole covers. Specifically, we see fiber from Zeo, AT&T, 
DFNI, which is a company called Dark Fiber and Infrastructure, Segra, which is owned by EQT Infrastructure and is in the process of being sold to Cox Communications, and finally, TW Telecom, which is part of what is now called Lumen Technologies, formerly CenturyLink. Importantly, you can see that all of this fiber sits right outside of the data centers in Ashburn that we just did a tour of. So hopefully that snapshot of Ashburn, Virginia gave you a better understanding of the world's largest data center market and who some of the major operators are. With that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.